for mesothelioma, um, a rare disease, um, you know, by and large, a difficult disease. Uh, these are the kind of uh, uh, diseases where I think you really do need a, a, a national or international collaborative effort to get adequate, adequate number of patients treated at various treatments. We are all very excited about the fact that uh, a double immunotherapy approach um, has offered significant survival advantage, particularly to mesothelioma histology uh, that has been considered to be chemo resistant, the sarcomatoid and non epithelioid um, histology. Uh, there is a large phase three study called DREAMER3 that is ongoing right now in the uh, US and some other um, countries, including Australia. Uh, where um, you know a simple question is being asked whether chemo IO versus an IO IO combination or chemo alone can have an advantage. That's based on an earlier phase two single arm study that showed significant activity with the chemo IO combination. I think that is an important study and one that is going to provide us with really good answers as to you know who again uh, is the patient population is going to benefit from it. And it has a significant amount of correlative studies attached to it. So again, we're going to learn a lot from you know, the biology of um, using a checkpoint inhibitor uh, or combinations and all of that in, in meso. So I think that's an, uh, uh, exciting. There are CAR T cell approaches that are being investigated again in uh, mesothelioma, again, a very difficult disease to treat. So novel agents uh, with novel mechanism of actions are absolutely needed. Uh, so that work is um, ongoing. And, and I think it's something that um, if we have patients who are eligible, they should be referred to centers where uh, this kind of work has been conducted to help develop uh, new and better treatments for our patient population. So um, uh, it's not a quiet area at all. There's a lot more activity in this area. Uh, but as I said, because it's a rare patient population, it sort of needs a more collaborative effort among multiple centers uh, to successfully conduct the studies and um, uh, learn from them. So. Um, our hope is that, again, in the next couple of years, we'll have additional information regarding new and better treatment options for patients with mesothelioma.